Hello and welcome back to Homeschool Together. We're back. We're healthy. Yeah. We're healthy. Um, so <laughs> we, we a minute, a minute or two. Um, so we're back doing prehistory with our um, Blossom and Root and Build Your Library combination. We know you guys have been following along. Mm -hmm. This is week twelve. If some of you have asked us for the combination, which you have emailed us so graciously, and Ariel has probably sent it to you. Yeah, we're happy to provide the we, schedule to anyone with proof of purchase of both of these curriculums. We made a swap. We noticed in the in the combination that we actually jumped time periods, and this week we decided to do a little bit of shuffling. We, we did reserve the right to do this. We had said at the beginning we were a little bit concerned because basically... It's our YouTube channel. We do whatever we want with that's it. That's right. So the way that this combo works is that initially you do kind of a mix of Build Your Library and Blossom and Root, and then you do mostly all Blossom and Root through Dinosaurs. Exactly. The real reason we combo is because Blossom and Root has so much about dinosaurs and all those other periods where Build Your Library just kind of goes really quickly. Mm -hmm. But then Build Your Library has a really great core three weeks all about humans. And so, whereas uh, Blossom and Root goes over that more quickly. So this is the reason why the two go together. Yep. So what we realized is as we were coming off of a Blossom and Root end and starting out with Build Your Library, we were kind of thinking, okay, we'll end Blossom and Root at the Ice Age and start um, build your library at early hominids. But what ended up happening was we realized we were going to be taking a few steps backwards mm -hmm. if we did that. So the way that we've made this change, we decided to take the early hominids from build your library and move that up and make that unit 12 of our combined curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, we had to of course put in the last day of Blossom and Roots week three, day five in there mm -hmm. as well. And then that's week four, Blossom and Root. So that's what early hominids and then the next week, in our next video, we're going to go to the Ice Age, and that's going to be back at Blossom and Root. So we made this switch. If I've previously sent you the uh, combo and you want the switched version. Switch 12 ahead. and 13. Right. So if you got the combo before the date of this video's publication, then go ahead and reach out to me, and I'm happy to give you the updated version. Uh, we just felt that this made more chronological sense yeah. and wouldn't be as confusing to our learner to be going backwards. Yeah. Anyway. We were going to jump forward and then have to jump backward. I felt it was just the better way to go. Right. And we were already at the end of last week kind of touching on early primates. Mm -hmm. So we, this this was, was a natural flow. So let's get into the, uh, you know, kind of what we focus on. Mm -hmm. This week was the rise of humans. I mean, there's just no nothing else to say about it. That was our focus and the, and the uh, subsequent issue, uh, idea of the primates. Mm -hmm. So primates and the rise of man. And, and we just, we ran with that as much as we possibly yeah. could. So this is our first book, When We Became Humans. Now, so if you've been watching the When the Whales Walked walk, and When Plants... plants yeah, the, the plant one. Oh, gosh. We're, when Plants Took Over the, plants the, took took over over the, over the Planet. Yes. That's what it was. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Took me a minute to get that. Okay, so th that this is a trilogy of books. So The Whales Walked, Plants Took Over the Planet, uh, When We Became Humans is the third book in that series. All of these books are fantastic, and they are great mm -hmm. for you to have for your homeschool library. This is no exception. This is also... Very simple, as you can see, with like the two pages you can read in about five, six, seven minutes. I like to do this at breakfast time, like mm -hmm. to hit these little things um, early in the day or when my daughter's doing some like copy work, I'm doing these pages. They're so, super And this simple. isn't a through line, so it's kind of nice. Yeah. Every two-page spread is its own specific subject. It is. So if you want to, you can just read that one spread and then go on to something else and later come back and do another. So mm -hmm. if there's you know, eight pages assigned for the week or something, feel free to break them up just by spreads because they are yeah. all different. Yep, a two-page spread. Nice. Now, you will be hitting this over the next couple weeks, so this is definitely one to check out from the library or to purchase. I've, we have purchased this book. I'm glad we have this book. It's, uh, it's just fabulous. I loved how it approached the different um, uh, early hominids, like the Homo habilis, Homo erectus, all those different, you know, uh, Australopithecus. It touched on every single one of those, and I was repeating the, that through a number of texts. And so after a while, my daughter started to equate and, and remember the name. So Homo habilis, he, he, used a, he was a handyman. Homo sapien, uh, the wise man. Homo erectus, obviously, uh, you know, walking upright. This was a wonderful book. I love the drawings. I love the simplicity. It's just kind of this like straight to the point, very simple, straightforward, wonderful, easy reading, especially for the, the parent. Mm -hmm. And great little kind of like breakout little information. Um, I loved it. I've, I've, I've enjoyed this book so much. I've enjoyed the other ones as well. 
But this one has been r this really is, nice. This is the, the week when the connections start really yeah. being made. As much as, yeah. you know, we and our kids all love dinosaurs and, you know, other, other prehistoric animals, once it gets to the rise of humans, mm -hmm. then now it's kind of where the rubber meets the road. This is yeah. where we're all like, okay, so these are our ancestors, <laughs> you know, and, and well, how did this happen? We spent, we spent 12, you know, 12 sections, you know, sometimes it might be, you know, 20 or 25 weeks now. And we finally got the humans. And so yeah. that was really the fun thing is this week where I was like to say, hey, we're going to start talking about humans. And, yeah. and she was getting really excited. Finally, we're humans. We and were she's just... been really like, she's been giving yeah. all this information to, it was my mom's birthday today. And so we called my mom and she's like, man, did you know about the Hobbit people that were the, that were the tiny human, you know? So she's yeah. really excited about all these. I think that the, that it's more real. Yeah. To make these connections. It, it um, is. And we've been reread The Kin for a number of weeks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is just coming right off of that, too. And she's kind of, she's making all of these human type connections, which Absolutely. is really cool. Absolutely. Great book to have. We cannot recommend this one high enough. Yes. When um, We Became Humans. Just as a little side, um, they do call out the Usborne Encyclopedia. And we have talked about this, I think, with the dinosaurs and some of the earlier time periods. There are some really wonderful, absolutely fantastic sections in here talking about early hominids. Mm -hmm. We hit all of these sections here as well. You can see the wonderful pictures. Very useful for the activity we kind of did a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about that then. But really talking about, you know, just the wonderful pictures that come in through here. Great information. Uh, I would say a little bit more above the when we, we became humans, but very, I would say, appropriate to the seven, eight-year-old age range. You know, for Well, and kids. as you can see with where the bookmark was, right, it was kind of yeah. you know here ish yeah, in right the beginning. and this so you is can gonna see, we're gonna carry this on for this is a book that we're yeah. gonna be using for yeah you know how many years going forward um for all of our world history studies Absolutely. so this is the kind of book to really invest in if you're not sure check it out from your library but mm -hmm. then you know our, our advice is really to buy this i, book. I like these books and, and the usborne books are fantastic they are and even if you want to go I mean, obviously this is an encyclopedia so it's going to be a little bit surface level on some of the pieces yeah. of history um if you want to go deeper that's great but as a starting point, this is a really great starting point, Absolutely. we think. Absolutely. So. And to hit the same subject from multiple books, I, I felt was very helpful. To carry on with that theme, eyewitness book, Early Humans. We love the eyewitness books, as you know, if you've watched Absolutely. our channel. Um, we have a collection of all the eyewitness books. So uh, this is no exception. We just pulled this off the shelf. Yep. And it's great because it's so... It, you know, if you haven't it's used so eyewitness visual. books, it's so, so visual. visual. Yeah. It's like a it's like a museum display in a book is really mm -hmm. how I, I feel about it. Um, and that's why it's great. We can read, we read the main section here that's in the big text. And then just we in. just pick bits and pieces that our daughter might be interested in. Yeah. Um, and we summarize some of it because it's obviously not at a first grade level. Yep. Um, but we think these books are great. We did a number of them uh, in our video last week. I, I love I love because it shows the real authentic. So these are right. more drawings, and here's some real examples of, of what mm -hmm. these things look like. Again, just another book to have that buttresses this week and the coming weeks. This is going to be a book along with the Usborne and the When We mm -hmm. Became Humans that we're going to be using over the next three or four weeks. So these books are going to be coming back and back and back again. So really fantastic. Right. And I think it's really good to juxtapose. You've got books, as you said, with drawings or computer generation with with reality, with what we actually have as far as fossils mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, artifacts and things. So I think it's kind of nice if you don't use this book, use some book that mm -hmm. shows real pictures uh, is valuable instead of it being all drawings. I think that our kids connect more with it with the real thing yes um so make a balance that's Absolutely. our advice um next is this small book called sapiens yes this um, is annabelle and aiden if you've so, done this, so, this series before so different than the famous mm -hmm. uh book called sapiens it was a non-fiction book that was released a couple of years ago by yuval noah harari i believe it was that's a fantastic we'll book. link that and i started reading that and it is fascinating, it is fascinating. so if you want to read a book along with your kids while you're studying mm -hmm. this that would be a good recommendation yep. of something that's just very interesting. It's definitely not at a kids level; it's for adults. Yep. But I, I have—I'm about halfway through, and I've been really enjoying it it's as fantastic. we've been going those, through. Those this. opening few chapters are just absolutely—they're like superb, uh, superbly written. There's just uh, lots of surprises. You're like, oh, yeah. oh! I found the whole time I'm sitting there reading it, Ben. I go, oh! He goes, I know, I know, because no, <laughs> he read it first, yeah. and so. Um, anyways, the, this is Annabelle and Aiden. But this is written in sort of like a poem, so like lightly rhyming uh, sequence, um, telling basically the whole arc of Homo, of Homo sapiens. 
um, all the way from the early times, early pre-hominids, all the way up to modern civilization. And it's just a nice book that just kind of takes you through the whole arc. Right. Even though we're just doing early hominids this week, this is nice to kind of like lay a roadmap to of where a, we're going to go. Especially yeah, over the next couple of weeks, because I, I kept telling her like, we have a lot to talk about over the next few weeks, because once once we look, once we climbed down out of the trees, you know, and we started walking around, we had to make tools, we had to move mm -hmm. around the planet, and there's going to be a lot of movement, and there's going to be cities and farming, so we need to talk about like the whole thing, and, and like what you said, laying that roadmap was really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. I like this book, it was fun, it was a very quick read. This is um, a recommendation, get this yeah. one from the library, because you're not probably going to refer back to yep. it, but definitely a good library and, get. And anything that shows the wonderful cave artwork with the hands, I just love that, just visually very stunning, and that, yeah. that's a little teaser for a couple weeks from now when we get into art. Yes. The Magic Schools bus explores human evolution. I was so excited about this book, you guys, because I am a kid who, you know, we grew up on the Magic School bus in the 90s, that was a big thing. Yeah. And um, so, of course, Mrs. the Frizzle. Frizz is back again, and this is a fun one because this goes through, this is, we're trying to do a little bit of evolution every week. Regardless mm -hmm. of what the topic is, we're trying to find some books we can pull in. We have this book that we've referenced many times yep. called Amazing Evolution. I'll link it in the show notes again because it's fabulous and uh, we're going to buy that one because it's yep. great. And we've been doing chapters out of that, but as we're getting, getting towards the end, I need something else. So what's fun about this one is every time period that they go through, they turn the kids into... <sighs> not turn them into that animal, but they like wear a costume that makes them look like, like, they, like they kind of are that animal. I don't know. That's cool. They half morph the kids. And so as they go up in time, they, they change. Yeah. And it's got, you know, it's just, it's typical magic school bus, but it has a lot of really great information. Great drawings as always. Super fun. This might be a book that I get because I love all magic school bus. And this one just came out like two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. So this is a really fun one. And we thought it was good every week to do a little bit on evolution each week, mm -hmm. just to kind of keep reinforcing that topic because yeah. it's, kind of hard to wrap your head around well, and as an is, adult especially but as a yeah. kid that's even harder and this is where the you know the idea of evolution hits home because it's the evolving of the human right mm -hmm. it's 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 one thing to talk about oh reptiles change into other reptiles and this and that but this is where we're going to start looking at things that look like you but aren't really you yeah and they are sort of like you and starting to look at the skulls and the shape of the body the length of the arms and show and they, like the shape of the jaw the shape of the forehead and talk about how things changed over time. And, and I think it hits home more when you start seeing skulls mm -hmm. stacked next to each other and saying that is different from that. And that makes you different from that one. So it's really yeah. good. I think it, it helps to drive home that. that, that right. Idea. And I think what's very interesting is, you know, I didn't really know this before, mm -hmm. but that it wasn't a direct linear line to Homo mm -hmm. sapiens. So this was kind of fun to experience mm -hmm. that there were many different branches of Good humans. One. And we're going to be doing that over the next few weeks talking about that. But mm -hmm. I mean, I was today years old when I learned that <laughs> it was not a linear line to Homo sapiens. So anyway, this is a great book Absolutely. if you want to do a fun book about evolution for, for this study or for anything. This is a good book. So we didn't watch very many videos this week. We did a lot of books, did a lot of talking. We also watched a documentary called Primates. Right. This one was really good. Uh, you know, typical PBS style. Uh, it was great. Our kids watched it. Um, I don't think they're, I think everything was fine in it. I will admit that I did fall asleep for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so there's a 20 minute section I can't vouch for. So you're saying to the parents who are at home who need a little bit of a cat nap, this is, this is the one for I you. had one kid under each arm oh, yeah. and there was a blanket involved and it had been a long day and the kids were fascinated though. They loved this movie. We got mm. it from our library as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, so highly recommend. I think it's it's a great one. It was called Adam Village Library. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Get Talking about a little bit of activities, we did a, a family tree this week. We did all the various uh, versions of Homo sapiens, yeah. Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, all the, all the ones we all know and, and have heard. Um, that artwork did not survive. But I did want to talk about how we did it. So I, I always have a little bit of tracing paper. These are big sheets that I've cut and I keep it in kind of a clamshell box. And what we were able to do is um, I took the Usborne book and had her trace over, you know, the, the image of the, that version of the human or you could use um, the When We Became Humans book and get a nice image. And we were just putting essentially the family tree. We were doing the family tree and then take this and superimpose it over the light board and then she could draw it on the piece of paper. 
and so it was able to come through and so she could trans she could right. basically this is a crayola light board we got her yeah. for christmas Very we simple. love it lights uh, on lights off yeah i'll link it in the show notes because it's fabulous and it goes in the car so yeah we love this one it's pretty robust too. so for making a family tree for a child that's you know just starting with writing and mm -hmm. uh, if, if we had her write these long names she yeah. wouldn't really know what that I meant. I did make her write them though. You, you did yes. but we but the visual I think adding the pictures was really important mm -hmm. so if you're yeah. going to do something with a child that this is this age yeah. consider adding the pictures. The tracing paper is really nice and, and the little one came along with it she started doing some tracing paper stuff too. So. And that's a good way to transfer yeah. something from a book I mean you can put a normal piece of paper and that light board you can put a just a normal piece of paper on it and then and then a, a, with, with a drawing and then a normal piece of paper on top and you know, do bright, it. You don't need enough. tracing paper, but you can't put a book page because you'd yeah. have to crack the spine crack. to get the book. Turn on the pages. It. Yeah, we tried, and I was like, "This is so weird." I said, "Oh, I, I remember." So I we had to use tracing paper. I different. feel like this is similar to the way you would make a mold. Mm -hmm. You know that you would you would first make the outside, and then yeah. you'd make, make the, the inside. So that you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to do multiple steps, but it's great because it gives her all this tracing work like this. Mm -hmm. Really works on all of her fine motor skills, which is just terrific. So, so we have done the early hominids. We talked all about the early, early man. This is great. Now we're going to get into next week where we're going to get into the Ice Age mm -hmm. and start talking about those hominids that look gosh awful close to what we are. And, and we're going to get into kind of the Neanderthals, early Stone Age. Neanderthal. Neanderthal. I was also today years old. When I learned it was actually Neanderthal. Tall. I thought that I was, we were watching a Sci Kids, uh, Sci Show yeah. Kids video and they, and they said it and I was thinking like, that poor lady, it's immortalized forever. She's saying this name wrong. And she said it over and over and I finally went, maybe she's right. And I looked it up. National Geographic says we're, Neanderthal and I was like, Ooh. We're, we're the ones immortalized on YouTube. Anyway, we're going to get into those early hominids that start to look a lot like us and start to touch a little bit on Homo sapiens. We got a lot of great books for next week. We hope you guys are enjoying your yeah. journey through time. We're coming up close to the end. We hope you've enjoyed it. All the new watchers and listeners, thank you so much for, Thanks for, for joining. For and if joining, any of listen these, to the podcast, uh, hit subscribe on the YouTube hit channel. Hit subscribe. If any of the books are ones that you plan to purchase anyway, we'd love for you to use our affiliate links because mm -hmm. it helps keep our show going and it doesn't cost me anything. So That's right. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.